Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra once again and here today we are in a fresh session of discussion of English grammar and what we have to discuss today. Yeah, you have already found it out in the title above and the topic is a very very new one and this is also very much interesting. But we aren't going to learn this topic in a very scholastic way, rather would learn it as simple as possible by keeping everything very simple and very down to art concepts. So let's begin our fresh session with partitive. So let's begin. Yes, dear friends, partitive. Just follow the very word. Partitive, it has come from what? It has come from part. So part means a portion. So when we get a fragment, a portion of something from a whole, we call it partitive. Just you may consider it as uh, quite opposite to collective nouns. You have learned collective nouns, na? an army of soldiers. So in collective nouns, what we do? In collective nouns, there we put same things together and present them as a group. We present them as a group. But in partitive nouns, most of the time we do this with non-count or uncountable nouns. So partitives are very much effective with non-count nouns, but it doesn't mean they don't appear with count nouns. So they can appear with both count nouns and non-count nouns, but when they appear with the non-count nouns, they actually suggest a part or a fraction of something. But it's uh, very much difficult to understand it if I go on saying like this. Rather, let me show you something. Obviously, this is very much interesting. Yes, dear friends, what do I have here? I have a bowl of sugar. Yes, this is sugar. A ball of sugar so I have a quantity of sugar now if I take a spoonful of it and if I say a spoonful of sugar so what would happen a spoonful of sugar this is actually a presentation of a part a fraction of the total quantity of sugar we have here in this bowl so here we present this spoonful of sugar as a part of a whole that's why a spoonful of this is partitive and a spoonful of sugar this is a partitive phrase so dear friends what have you seen you have found that we are parting something we are making a fragment of something if i say give me a slice of bread so what you'd get you'd get there's a full bread i am parting it and I'm taking a slice out of it. So a slice of bread here, a slice. This is the partitive. Now partitives are nouns. But how? If you find this out in this example. A slice of bread. Give me a slice of bread. So here, slice. This is called the partitive nouns. And bread. This is called the head noun. So what happens here? We are creating a phrase, a slice of bread and a slice of bread is the partitive phrase. So this is how we can form partitive phrases by presenting a partitive noun with what? With the head noun and presenting it as a phrase. So let's check some other form of partitive nouns how they work with count nouns and non-count nouns and obviously these are very much interesting just check out how it works with the non-count nouns first i wrote his number on a piece of paper so here i wrote his number on a piece of paper so paper this is non-count noun and piece this is the partitive yes so here we have produced an article a uh, then the partitive then of proposition and then comes the non-count nouns and here one most important and most interesting factor about partitive nouns that i'm going to disclose yes listen to it very carefully partitive nouns are such nouns which helps us to make countable what an uncountable noun. So a non-count noun or a mass noun 
can be counted with a partitive nouns. He is a sheet of paper. A sheet of paper. You can't count paper, but you can count a sheet of paper. He is a liter of milk. You can't count milk, but you can count a liter of milk, two liter of milk, three liter of milk. So when a partitive is added to a non-count noun, they actually becomes countable. So partitives are very much important. You have to learn it very keenly. And here we are with another form that you would find very much interesting. So let's check out some partitive nouns suggests quality or behavior. Yes, they can suggest quality or behavior. So we were talking of part, we were talking of fragment, we were talking of portion, but it has set up a relation with what? With quality or behavior. So let's have an example first and we'll discuss with the example. This was not a premeditated murder but a crime of passion so a crime of passion so it suggests behavior how it's a crime of passion so when we use these shorts of partitive they actually speaks of behavior or quality so let's find out another example where we'd find out how partitives are used to mean quality yes this is the example the kind of treatment we receive here is the finest so the kind of treatment we receive here is the finest kind of treatment kind that's the partitive and of treatment treatment that's the unit noun or the head noun so together they mean quality so here we have found out how partitive nouns are used to mean what to means quality there is more to come just wait and check it till the end so let's find out what else is there in this presentation partitive nouns are also found with the nouns of locations and the nouns of time like what yes here's an example we admit at the back of the house at the end of the day now if you check this at the back of the house so back of the house back that's the partitive and what suggests here it suggests nouns of position and at the end of the day end that's also a partitive and it suggests what it suggests time so this is how we can use partitive with nouns of time and nouns of position so let's check out there is another very much important factor about partitive nouns yes dear friends if you like food i'm not talking of liquids but if you like food you must feel that partitives can go with foods and liquids how give me a glass of milk give me some milk give me a liter of milk give me a piece of cheese give me a liter of milk so here you have found out that partitive nouns can be used with food and liquids so that's the simple and most important and the key features of partitive nouns and here we are going to present another example and I think with this example, you'd get everything very clearly. So let's check out what's the example waiting for us here. The sky was lit up with the flashes of lightning. Flashes of lightning. So here, lightning, this cannot be a countable noun. So it's very clear that lightning, this is uncountable noun. But with this uncountable noun, we are using a partitive. And the partitive is flashes. So partitive noun, flash, head noun or unit noun, lightning. Lightning is uncountable. 
partitive flash is countable. But when we say flashes of lightning, here you'd get that I have used plural number flashes with the partitive nouns. So partitive nouns can be used as plural and there they make the non-countable noun count. So non-count noun is made count, uncountable is made countable by using partitive that's we have found here and also another thing i've told you na spoonful of sugar so if you consider this as well here we have add f u l so s f u l these could be added with the nouns and we can make it partitive so this is how like this spoonful of sugar partitive noun is very much tasty don't get bothered by them but just learn them as a spoonful of sugar and if you have found this video as tasty as a spoonful of sugar like it share it with your friends and obviously subscribe this channel with the bell notification so that's all for today we we'll admit once again very soon in a fresh session until then bye bye